We will be exploring the most common questions asked about Pattaya, including the cost of living, what Pattaya is like during COVID, and what living in Pattaya is like, and so much more. So, if you are thinking about visiting, retiring, or living in Pattaya, then this video will be answering all of your questions. Nonetheless, if there's something more that you wish to know, we have written two full-length articles about life in Pattaya as a foreigner. These can be found in the description below. So how much do you need to live comfortably in Pattaya as a foreigner? The total amount you will need to live comfortably in Pattaya will depend on your lifestyle expenses. Nonetheless, on average, an expat can live comfortably on between $1,000 to $1,400 a month. It is possible on some occasions to live comfortably in Pattaya for much less. There are some members of the online community, for example, who document how they can live on $700 to $800 a month. But there are certain restrictions to a budget such as this. Nonetheless, it's now much easier to live on such a low amount due to COVID and the lockdown restrictions. So is Pattaya a good place to live? Pattaya is a fantastic place to live as a foreigner, but whether Pattaya is suitable for you or not will depend on your lifestyle needs. For example, living in this area as a foreigner is certainly not the cheapest option if you're looking to live cost-effectively in Thailand. Pattaya is well known for its adult entertainment entertainment and nightlife for gentlemen. If you are a singleton and use applications such as Thai Friendly and Tinder, you may find that there are many professional adult workers who find their customers on these dating sites. Pattaya, however, has so much more to offer than these two categories. However, the visible entertainment and cost of living are two important factors to consider when deciding if Pattaya is suitable for you or not. But the good news is, even if Pattaya is not right for you, there are many other areas that are highly accessible to this area, such as Bangkok and Rayong. Another question that is often asked is, will Pattaya recover after COVID-19? The pandemic era has had a big impact on life in Pattaya. The city is known for its clubs and bars, but due to the lockdown, some parts of the city can feel incredibly eerie. However, over the past two months, Pattaya has seen a decline in new cases of coronavirus, and recent changes across Thailand look promising for those who wish to return back to the city. Many believe that Pattaya will recover after COVID-19, but the unanswered question is when. Some travel authorities believe that Pattaya will return back to normal during mid-2022. However, others believe that life in Pattaya will return to normal as late as 2023 or 2022. What we do know, however, is that the recovery will not be a sudden improvement. It will be a gradual process. This is similar to what we've seen in other cities and provinces around Thailand. In other words, tourism will slowly return, regulation will be dropped, and this will be tied very closely with the ongoing battle of COVID-19. So for those of you who have lived in Bangkok, you may be wondering, is Pattaya cheaper than Bangkok? On average, Pattaya is much cheaper to live in and visit compared to Bangkok. For example, the cost of living index score by Numero suggests that if your lifestyle cost is 100,000 Thai baht in Bangkok, continuing the same standard of living in Pattaya would cost you 74,000 Thai baht, meaning that on average, Pattaya is 26% cheaper than Bangkok. So how much does it cost to rent a condo in this city? Prices to rent a small condominium in the city start around 8,000 Thai baht. On average, a one-bedroom unit can cost between 10,000 to 15,000 Thai baht, and a two-bedroom unit or a more luxurious unit can be upwards of 20,000 Thai baht. And this leads us to the ultimate question of is Pattaya worth visiting? Pattaya is definitely worth the visit. As mentioned, the city has a lot more to offer aside from its reputation. A week or two is enough time to see everything on your bucket list, but you may wish to add a few additional dates if you're looking to travel to nearby areas such as Rayong.